Alola friends, Dapper Driver here, and welcome to another PTCGO video. Like I said, we're going to try to budget it down today. That means no Zoroarks, no Leleys, uh, no expensive cards. So, we're going to be taking a look at Kakuna, actually. Uh, Kakuna, with the multiply attack, we are going to take a look at this finally. We kind of used a Greninja as a basis, and... Went with a 2-2 split of Sudden Sting, Sharp Sting, Beedrill, and uh, the Swarming Sting, Beedrill from Evolutions. Now the reason why we're doing a split is because that way early game you can generally try to find yourself a Sudden Sting one which is going to really help you kind of buy a turn so that you can get set up with the other one. And then late game you're going to want to have the Swarming Sting one so that you can spread damage and get things taken out the way you want. Now we are playing this, the spread version, I guess. The way to spread damage and then de-evolve. So we actually added Weavile in here, the rule of evil. Does 60 damage to each Pokemon that has an ability. So that can really help with our opponent's Lele's, Zorworks, everything they put down. Lycanrocks. Uh, the only thing it doesn't help against is like your Espeon, your Drampas, Garbodors. Which kind of sucks. But... Uh, Alas, uh, we're hoping to take them down a different way, or just it's an auto loss. Um, we also play two Orangaroos for that draw support so we don't get stuck. This deck does struggle to draw, but uh, it's alright. It, it can It's either going to work or it's not going to work. It's just as simple as that. So I guess we'll just go over the Pokemon lineup. Two Orangaroos. Uh, two, three Sneasels, two Weaviles, four Weedles, four Kakunas, uh, two, two split of Beedrills, uh, we got one Espeon EX for Miraculous Shine, and we have one Necrozma GX for Black Ray GX. Uh, you can also kind of help against Drampa and make it where Drampa can't attack you. Uh, part of me wanted to put like a Hoopa in here and a uh, Zerkatry in here because those are two more stall tactics you know Zerkatry special people with special energy cannot attack it which is a lot of the format and uh crap the other one I mentioned <laughs> I just drew a blank completely Zerkatry and Hoopa Hoopa you know GX's EX's can't attack that a uh, good thing in this deck is an enhanced hammer. This enhanced hammer reduces those special energy drops on your opponent's side of the field, making it easier for you to set up Beedrills and get going. We have four Evo Sodas. So once we evolve the Kakuna spread, our multiply into multiple Kakunas, and then we Evo Soda right into a Beedrill ready to attack. Three Field Blowers. Uh, we're not super reliant on abilities. Uh, however... It's just better to like just get rid of stuff that's not that's not gonna help you or that's gonna disrupt your opponent. So that's why we play three field blowers. I believe we play one rescue stretcher, just the one count of it. This is just the fancy version, but uh, the regular versions are will work fine. Uh, we got one revitalizer. That's the split there, yeah. So I got one uh, rescue stretcher, one revitalizer, and one super rod. All three really good ways to get uh things back from the discard pile um i think i would have probably honestly play more revitalizers if i had any but i only have one so i'm playing one and one rescue stretcher four ultra balls pretty standard of most decks one lily it's a good if you get it first turn but also late game if you see your opponent has a low hand size and you don't want to give them more but you want more cards lily is your girl uh, I believe we have four ends, four, three Sycamores, and two Skylas to finish out the support account. We have two Choice Bands, uh, four Counter Energy, and seven Grass Energy. I was debating on throwing in a Float Stone over the Choice Band because the boost damage boost doesn't help as much as like the ability to retreat so we're gonna go ahead and throw in that float stone 
Alright, we're going to go ahead, save it, export it. It'll be down in the description below if you guys want to want to try this out for yourself. There's many different versions out there. We're calling this Bees Go Vial because it's a bee drill Weavile deck, which is actually, I think, a pretty good uh, pairing. Uh, but let's see how it does for us. We shouldn't have any trouble spreading damage to... The problem is if we're, we're slightly not powerful enough. We are facing Trainer Billy with a Metal Water Psychic type deck. I don't know what this could be. But let's face off against Trainer Billy with that awesome moustache. Alright, so it looks like we're going to start things off with Sneasel. We will leave both the GX and the EX in our hand for now. One, we don't want to show off that we have them, and two, I don't want them to take any damage. We are facing the mighty Metagross with Vulpix. So, we might be just low on damage on this one, but we're going to see if we can face off against it. I've actually been happy today. I'm seeing a lot of different decks rather than the normal, like, you know, there's always, like, a fad. There's always a fad, and, uh... Today has actually been different, so that's exciting. Sycamore. Good, as long as you don't mess up my hand. We threw it on metal. I was, I would have hoped you put through it on a DCE, so I could have just tossed it off. But that's fine. And we have the N and the Ultra Ball. What to do? What to a do? Unfortunately, I don't have a nest ball. Otherwise, I would just Skyla for a nest ball. Okay. Let's see uh, what our opponent has. These two are going to become more important later in the game. So I'm going to toss the Weavile and the Enhanced Hammer. They do not have special energy in this deck, at least. Um, looks like we have... We have three Kakunas, four... Weedles and three B drills, uh, two Orangaroos. Um, and a couple of energy prize. Okay, so I guess we want to start with our first guy, little Weedle here. Make sure we get both of these guys out of here. And I'm going to put Necrozma and Espeon back for now. They will come into play later on. So let's go ahead and end. We get Beedrills, and Kakunas, and Matatas, um, and we get no energy drop, which kind of sucks. Uh, I could Ultra Ball again. There's nothing I really want to throw away, so I think I'm going to end there. It's a good hit for our opponent. If I would have been able to hit anything else, it would have been useful, but we were not. Uh, I do not want to throw away the Kakunas right now, because we only have three in the deck. And in order to get a decent uh, swarming sting, you need at least three B drills. So there's 120. It's 160 if you can manage to throw the four, but it's really hard to get four of the same card down on the field. Wonderful tag. And they're going to get that Bridget and set up their bench. Luckily, with Weavile, Beldum has 60 HP, so if we can Weavile uh, these Metagrosses, yeah, this is pure item deck, pure item deck here. So we can damage the Lele right now, but that's about it. But we're going to evolve into Weavile for that free retreat. Um, I like the size of my opponent's hand. And we have a uh, Revitalizer, so I'm going to go ahead and toss that and grab an Oranguru here. And go ahead and Lily. I should have Oranguru first, I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, now I've made this more difficult on myself because I still don't have an energy. Because I still don't have an energy. Tisk tisk. Um, guess what we get to do? We got a pass again. Wow. 
that was a misplay, a misplay on my part. Uh, I put the hand down to a low size so I could orangaroo and then I didn't orangaroo. There's an N. That's going to help us, I think. Yeah, we had two Skylas and an N. That we weren't really going to get out of that bind too easily. Ah, but we get another Kakuna. I want that in the deck. And now we get energy. Now we get energy galore. Okay, there's an Octillery. I'm happy to see that. I'm really saving this Weavile because I really feel like it can kind of become an all-in thing at the end. Ultra Ball. I'm a Tang. It's really bad we did not get an energy attached last turn. Of course we get that. Um, we're going to go ahead and retreat into Kakuna. Evolve into the other Kakuna. And then I think I have a spot for one more. So... I'll put that weed, that, uh, yeah, Weedle down, and we will save this stuff um, for that Beedrill, those Beedrills that we have in the discard pile. So let's see what this Lele does, they need another energy to take out the Kakuna. And then all of our counter energies are activated the moment they take one prize. We're gonna rare candy. Get up those metagrosses. Choice band is literally useless <laughs> in this match, dude. And they're gonna sycamore away their end and try to get that third metagross going. I know I'm sort of buying time until they evolve all their metagrosses to start doing the rule of evil. But if they get that other metagross, then I'm definitely going to Weavile this turn. Nice. And Geotech system. Alright, so they got all but one Metagross. I mean, and they definitely play Max Potions as well. But I think now might be a decent time to go ahead and Rule of Evil. Worst case scenario, it has Free Retreat, you know. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball, away the energy, and that I don't know what to set up here Necrozma or Espeon I mean the Ultra Ball should be for Pedro Because I should technically instruct first. There's nothing to evolve into. It's all in the discard pile. There's Necrozma. Uh, Super Rod's not ideal. Uh, it's really to get energy back. So let's throw back one of these. Drill and get an energy. I actually think I'm going to get the other Kakuna here. And is there a reason to field blower? No. Those tools don't mean anything to me. So we'll keep a Ranger out. We can't really do much about it anyways. But we can do 60 damage across the board on our opponent there.
And there goes that Metagross, and then Geotic System, the other one back up. Max Potion, the one in the back. And we will probably promote our Beedrill. Since it has free retreat. Oh nice, they didn't... They didn't promote, they didn't max potion. So now's our chance to, uh... Try to do that Espeon play. Problem is we don't have any draw support here. Yeah, three energy make it impossible. can do is field blower away that float stone yeah we're in a bind that sucks end's gonna help us but too little too late we needed to end one card sooner. At least I can get my last B drill now. If I grab the right card, I should say. We <laughs> finalize now. No, that's too late. Um, unfortunately, we kind of screwed ourselves here, so the best thing we can do is Shard Sting. Sudden Sting won't work anymore. And we have Necrozma down, which does not help us at all. So unless I can get that Espeon out, um, my opponent is going to take the lead again here, or take the lead more here. Luckily, I do have two B drills up, so I can hit for 80 damage. I can snipe for 80 damage, which can take out the Octillery. Which they're not using anyways. There goes that Retreat, Max Potion. Yep, I knew that play was coming. That's why I really needed to get that Espeon out, because I would have been able to take out three prizes. There goes that one. Sad face. So let's throw up the free retreating B drill right now. And let's see what we draw. We draw into an Evo Soda. I guess that's going to get us a Weavile. Nope. Espeon is still sitting in there, still floating. Uh, we're just gonna go, go in here, grab a. Uh, I think that's everything we have. We can't grab this other bee drill. Don't remember what I just saw in the deck. I think I saw a Weedle. I think I saw a Weedle in the deck, so I need these two. I think we're gonna go ahead and end here. I'm debating on putting the Ring over down, but it's just not worth it. get that thing back. So next turn we can Skyla for what we need, which is that Espeon. For this turn we can Swarming Sting and take out the Octillery. And then there is the third Metagross. 
now they can just chain metagrosses they don't need any energy from hand any longer they got the Guzma probably gonna take out the Necrozma yep Necrozma literally did nothing for me this whole thing but yeah this is a difficult match to such high HP with their max potions and their abilities it's like so hard to take out We'll just promote this guy again. And uh, we get a Kakuna. We get everything but what we need, right? So let's go ahead and do this for an Ultra Ball. Yeah, Weedle and Espeon is what I have in here. Um, Enhanced Hammer is kind of pointless. Field Blow is kind of pointless. Yeah, so let's grab the Ultra Ball here. What do we want to toss? We need a float stone to get it out of the active once we put it up there. Uh, I feel like I'm going to toss a, a float stone, one of them, and a grass energy. So we can grab that Espeon. Grass energy and I will hang on to the float stone. And we're gonna miraculous shrine here. I don't know which one is a Matang, that one's not, and that one is, and that one is. So he's gonna be able to evolve, uh, he's gonna be able to retreat this Beldum and then get a Metagross back up. Unless he has Rare Candy. He Does he have Rare Candy? He's gonna Guzma up the other one. Okay, so. That's all he needed to do though. I thought, I thought there was a Beldum under that one. So unfortunately we lost this match today. Beedrill just was not up to snuff to take on a Metagross a little bit different tiers but as you can see we did do a 500 damage um, so we weren't out of it we just uh, could not keep up uh, not to mention they did heal 120 damage of the damage that we did do they definitely drew more cards too so I mean I think we did pretty well this is probably a standard Metagross um, the artillery is a little weird but uh, other than that Pretty standard Metagross if you guys are interested in that. Uh, that is it for our budget deck today though. Um, I don't think next week we should have something a little more viable. Uh, I'm not sure what. I'm still trying to collect some different cards in order to, uh, to actually start going into this Crimson Invasion. Um, but let's see what we have. We have... Uh, three evolution packs let's open up three evolution packs to finish this off just something nice to do so what do we have we have the ghastly the sandy shrew and a beedrill hey look who it is let's open another we got diglet dig diglet dig a brox grit reverse and a star me actually a useful rare a Drowsy again, a Charmander, a DCE, and our rare is a Starmie. So, two Starmies and a Beedrill. That's kind of fitting because since I kind of used uh, Greninja as a template, I had to take out the Starmies. So thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Jabby. I'll bid you guys a lot, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.